Are you looking to learn how to make needle felt with maracas? Then you're on the right video because I'm going to teach you everything you need to know. Aloha everyone and welcome to today's video, how to make needle felted maracas. My name is Iceland and on this channel, Snowflake Forest Felting, I share needle felting videos, have needle felting tutorials, and share product reviews from time to time. So if you're new and this interests you, please consider subscribing. And if you want to know more about anything you see here on this channel, be sure and check the links in the description below this video or leave me a comment. I'd love to connect with you there. So to start, I'm going to show you everything you'll need to make these. So here are the color of wools you'll be using for this project. A creamy yellow and then two colors of green, one bright, one darker, some brown. And then the inside of your project will require some bone colored wool and a little bit of black for your palm trees your surface and needle protector, your felting needles, a tape measure to know the size of your project, and some scissors to trim it up and make it all clean at the end. And then if you want to have your speed needles on hand and a surface protector when you're using color, you can have one of those too. And again, I'm going to have all this linked in the description below this video for you guys. You're going to take some of your bone colored wool and start to get the pieces that you're going to want for your project mapped out a little bit and kind of give it a squeeze, see what it feels like once it's going to get solid, how big it'll be. Gonna roll it a little bit here. I want these two to feel pretty even. A little bit more. So you'll have your handles and then the top round part of your maracas. Go ahead and start with one of the handles. I know that I'm going to want it thicker around the base and thinner at the top. Go ahead and grab your felting needles and start felting. At first you're not going to think it's doing anything, but after a while you'll start to notice that it is. I'm just kind of rolling it to help guide it and keep the handle nice and round. And then be sure and leave a little bit loose on the one end that's going to insert into the top of the maraca so you can make a nice firm attachment between the two pieces. And then continue felting it and just kind of give it a nice maraca handle shape to it. And a little bit of a curve. You don't have to make this piece super perfect because you are going to be covering it with color. Go ahead and work on your other handle some. Remember as you're felting to go straight in and out of the wool. Try not to angle your needle, that's how you risk breaking it. Again, sometimes rolling your wool between your hands can be helpful. These two are pretty different in size still. I definitely need to felt this one a little bit more. You do want to make them as even as possible kind of thinking like mirror image of each other. I feel like this one needs a little bit more around the bottom of it. So just take a little bit of wool and add it in any areas that you think your project requires it. There they are really starting to look identical. It's a little bit more felting on each piece. And they make it nice and solid before you wrap it with the brown. You can also check the length here. This is about three inches, so anywhere between two and three inches. Closer to two would be better if you're looking for a newborn prop size. Because then you've got to think this is going to be two inches within itself as well. And then that would make it four inches total. Alright, liking that one. Just this one a little bit more. Now you can go ahead and work on the top round part of the maraca. 
take your wool and form it into a ball or even a little bit egg shaped. Pull the base apart a little bit. More of an attachment area. Kind of put it on your maraca like that. And then start felting the two pieces together. And you can see it's starting to look a little bit like a maraca. Get your other ball going. prepare the next handle for the next one to be attached and make it one piece as well. I can tell this one needs a little bit more wool. I'm going to add it around to the top as well. I'm going to switch needles here for a little bit and give each piece an overall felt with my speed needle. And now I'm going to begin to add color. So I'm going to switch up my felting mat. I'm going to start with adding brown around the handle. I'm going to spread this piece kind of thin and wrap it around it and then pull off the excess down here and needle back out and then after you have wrapped the handle of your maraca you can begin felting the brown wool onto it just be careful not to pierce too deep so you're not bone colored wool through your project. If there's any places that look thin in color, you can just add a little bit more. And just keep felting your piece and make sure that it's nice and smooth. This is gonna be what your final product will look like, so you want it to look really good. your other handle. Remember to spread the wool out and then wrap it. It doesn't look like I need to pinch any off. I want to use all of that. And then start attaching it by needle felting it. And then just continue felting this one the same way you did the other. Any thin spots just add a little more wool. I'm going to switch needles for a little bit. Start with the green around the base. A little bit of your roving. I suggest roving for this part of your project over wool batting because the fibers are all going in the same direction and it will help for wrapping it and keeping your lines straight. I'm going to felt it in and just remember as you are attaching it to try and keep a straight line so then it's easier to add the next color to it as well. Go 
ahead and get that color going. Now that that color is attached, we want a little bit more of this color around the center. As you felt it, you can continue to work on that round shape. I'm also going to add some of the yellow now. Remember to try and keep your straight line. I'm going to set it aside and get the other one started as well. Start with the green around the base. And the next color, the same process as you did to the last one. Remember you want a little more of this color than the other two colors. And then add your yellow to the top. And if you want to change to a different three colors, definitely do so. This is just the colors that I wanted to pick for mine. And now just continue to felt them until they're all nice and smooth and completely covered. And as you go through the process, you'll see here when I'm like adding small amounts of wool to perfect the lines. I'm trying to keep their fibers as straight as possible. I can see here I need to add a little brown, so I'm going to do that there. a little patience you can see it starts to felt together really well this still has quite a ways to go but just keep working on it I'm gonna shift maracas and work on this one a little bit now too all right so once you feel like your maracas are coming along fairly well like maybe you're getting close to being done with your project take your scissors and give them a good little trim up of the excess fibers like so do all of them completely around i like to use the sunlight so i'm gonna go near the light to do mine to make sure it comes out really well to give you an idea of before and after trimming, this is before, how fuzzy it is. There we go, that is a lot better. There's still some, but for now that's good. And now it's time to add the little palm tree print to your maracas. I made them match each other as much as possible, so I want to do the same when putting on the palm tree, as if they're a mirror image of each other. I'm going to start with rolling a little bit of the black wool. You can do so just like that. And then pick the one maraca you're going to start with. And you're going to kind of use it like a pencil or a pen. As if you're writing with the line of black wool. Face myself here with for just a moment. Then I'm going to trim off the extra black here. I just want it to go a little ways into the green. A little bit of a curve to it. Now I'm going to make the branches at the top. Same process you can do for yours. I'm going to arch this first one up high. Not quite going into the yellow. Just trim the end like so and felt it down in. Use a little more black and just roll it like so again. This one's gonna go just a little shorter. Felt it into the center and then cut off the extra. 
Gotta do the bottom one. I'm gonna carry it over to the other side and trim it off like so. And the last little bit go along the top. Oops. A little extra black where I don't want it. There we go. So it kind of looks like that. Okay, now I'm just going to take really tiny little bits of black wool, roll them, and add them underneath. Just like that. And this top branch will probably have three of these. You can add another little one and then just continue doing this for both of your maracas. One more branch. This top one, I'm going to add a few to it as well. And there it is up close. I'm gonna try to show you this up a little bit closer from this angle. Roll your wool between your fingers like so. I'm gonna start down into the green this time. Put a bit of an arch. Look at that. That's pretty close. And just like that, you can be a fiber artist too. All right, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and learned something new, please be sure and give it a thumbs up. And if there's something you'd like to maybe see me felt, leave it in the comments below and I might just felt it next. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>